I've got several people asking me about some of my specific plants recently, so I think now is a good time to give an update. As you know, we just finished summer and it's now autumn, but right now we're still getting hot days. It's pretty sunny outside. And it's also pretty windy. Please don't mind these chalk sticks. I pulled them out this morning. So I'm working a new area. So I've got a few people asking me about my agavoides and one of the frequently asked ones is how's my ebony doing? So here it is. As you can see it's a bit tight with the leaves pointing upwards. This is normal, especially under the summer sun. It's still pretty hot today, excess of 30 degrees Celsius. So I still haven't teared down my shade structures. And if you look closer at the new growth at the middle, everything looks so plump. So it's pretty healthy. And here's my Romeo. As you can see it's doing pretty well. And like my ebony, the leaves are pointing upwards. It's a bit compact right now due to the heat. And I'm expecting it to open up a bit more in the days to come. Just last week, it was a lot paler than this. But now it's starting to regain its color. And this is mainly because it's starting to get cooler with the days getting shorter. And you can see here that all of my agavoides are closed up or at least curling inwards protecting themselves from the heat. I'm pretty pleased with how, how much this Benimusum has grown and it's starting to show off its pretty red colors now. My Lawi is doing pretty fine but it is looking quite lonesome and the prices on this ones have gone really low in the past few weeks but I got myself another one let me show you. And here's my second Lawi I got it in a pot of four in a special I think it, the, the, whole, the whole thing went for $15 and it contained four plants. That means that this Lawi is essentially $3.75. It's pretty cheap now, nowadays. And here's a new one in my collection. I found this when I visited the Victoria Market some a few weeks ago. This is a, this is some form of uh, Frank Renault. This is not a pure Frank Renault according to the seller. This might have been hybridized because he I think he grew these from seed, so it has a Frank Renault appearance right now, but time will tell. I'm not sure why I made this video, but I guess I just really wanted to show off my agavoides because I cleared up the area. As you can see, there's no blue chalk sticks at the back, and I pulled them out this morning. You will see more about this in a future episode, but anyway, this is a sneak preview. These chalksticks have grown too much already and they have been creeping all over the place and I think some of the echeverias were being suffocated. And it was not only that area that I cleared, I cleared both sides of this one. There also used to be blue chalksticks over in that area but now I've cleaned it up to make more space. And my motivation for cleaning them up now is because the days are starting to get shorter. It's going to get more humid, especially when once winter comes. Winter's coming. So I just want to make sure that the airflow is good. I might have to rethink what, I, what I'd be putting at the back. Right now, I'm thinking of replacing the, the blue chalk sticks that I removed with the dwarf blue chalk sticks or the Senecios or Pens. You'll know more of it in a future episode, maybe episode 55, so stay tuned. I'll see you then.